There is only one rule. Keep the lights on. Hello, horror, thriller, sci-fi, nostalgia, loving family, and welcome back to Sinister Southern Bell Spooktacular, where we're going to visit movies as well as television series for 35 days. I do have one to make up for, though, because of oh, copyright jail. She's stuck in there. I disputed it, and they said, nah, girl, it ain't happening. So, I'll have to do a makeup for you guys. If you're a brand new watcher, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a return watcher, welcome back. I appreciate you guys as well. If you're a part of the Patreon family, you guys, thank you so much for helping me over there. You have no idea your love and support helps my mental health and it helps feed the family. So if you guys want to be a part of that Patreon family, we do watch along there. We do edits before anybody else gets to touch them. We do behind the scenes content. You guys get to tell me what to watch. And we do polls as well, just to kind of give me ideas uh, for the themes of the month. For the next few months, it's kind of booked in um, because we have so many good holidays happening here towards the end of the year, but come next year, we're going to be, we're going to be rocking and rolling. Okay. All right, you guys, but if you want to check that out, we do have tiered memberships as well as free memberships. So if you want to check that out, please see the description box below. If you want to, if not continue watching me over here for free, which is totally fine. I, the only thing that I ask of you is a like, share, comment, or subscribe. Hitting that notification bell also helps me out as well, just so that I can continue to add to this amazing algorithm and be able to reach my family here because you guys are my family in my heart. All right, so what are we watching today? We are watching season three, episode seven of Roseanne. Uh, we didn't have any issues with copyright on that, so we were revisiting another episode. She is, in my opinion, the 80s mom, queen of Halloween. So, um, this episode is going to be called Trick or Treat. Hopefully, it is just as funny as the previous episode. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Roseanne Trick or Treat. Roseanne. I always like Roseanne because she reminds me a lot of my, my childhood best friend's mother. What are they playing with? Pretzels? And crackers? Diner to Marvin, possible straight. Doug Duck for the Mont Senior. Zippo. And Shinola for the dealer. <laughs> That's to you, Paladin. He bought these two mail order brides through a catalog. Catalog? Yeah. And UPS delivered them right to his door, buck naked. <laughs> yeah, they both look like Michelle Pfeiffer, except they had really good Oh, wait, kids. isn't that her actual previous husband? I don't know if they're still married, though. I told you about me dating that belly dancer, right? Oh, this is. This is <laughs> this oh, chick. my gosh. Do we miss the bullets? Had such muscle control. Well, hey, go knock yourself out. <laughs> so what were y'all saying? Oh, yeah, I'd, uh... What? Yeah, you could use a... Hey, you better use your coasters. A beer? Ah, made to look. Power tools. You know, that's their little code for <laughs> We don't know what goes on the minute we're out uh -huh. of the room. Well, you know, they talk about their first time and their last time and <laughs> how many times and they multiply it all by about five and then they at each other and go home. <laughs> Why they do oh, that. Lord. I don't know. We're talking about the only animal on earth that would wear black socks with her. Put on her little ears. <laughs> Why? I have to lodge stupid haunted house thing. Oh. But it's for charity. <laughs> it's no fun having some 60-year-old guy with a pot belly jumping out of his sand. <laughs> Ooga booga. Scary when I was eight. It's even scarier now. You get out there again. Look, I just oh. broke up with Gary. I'm depressed. I'm tired. I'm miserable. This is me to my sister. I look so cute. To the kitchen. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, look, everybody. DJ's a witch. Come <laughs> fly upstairs and put on your PJs, huh? I can't fly without a broom. Sure you can. Look. Woo. <laughs> well, if you 
up in a minute, champ. But two daughters isn't enough for you? What are you talking about? Witches are girls. This is the 90s, Dan. Witches are women. <sighs> Wait a minute. Is he embarrassed that he's a witch? He got to pick his own costume that uh -huh. he chose. Well, why couldn't he pick up some normal? Uh, a vampire, a nice axe murderer. And? Like, um, There's plenty of other axe murderers in the world, Rosie. Oh, yeah. You want him to be, be a, a warlock? Girl stud of an axe murderer. There's no little sissy axe murderer for Dan Connors, boy. Boys shouldn't dress up like <laughs> girls. No, darling, dress up like a pirate for three years in a row. That was cute. If he goes out like this, he's going to come home with a bloody nose. That is stupid. I'm going to get back in there. Would you please talk to him? DJ, instead of a witch, you want to dress back. up like Madonna? <laughs> That's... Like okay. <laughs> Yeah? Well, so how long are you going to be? <laughs> okay. Yeah, right, tell let your kid be okay, whoever fine. they want to be. Ew! Mom's still at work. She says she and Jackie will meet us there. Okay, I'll be right out. That's Darling, disgusting. you're not even ready. We're going to be leaving any minute. I don't feel oh. so bad. Well, what's wrong? It's my that's stomach. A, that's, a, that's a great costume. Want some Pepto uh -oh. or something? oh, okay, I got it. She's got a fake hand. That's inventive. Uh, listen, I'm supposed to remind you to bring the brownies. That is inventive. We like that. Oh, wise guy, eh? <laughs> oh, crap. I'll get the brownies. Uh, what's this? Uh, yeah, I thought you changed your mind about being a witch. Oh, my. No. Well, look, I've been thinking, you know, the costume's great and everything. Why not just, uh... Tell them before a live studio audience. Say you're a warlock. What's a warlock? It's a guy witch. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh, get rid of the broom here. Why? It's DJ. Oh, warlocks don't have brooms. Well, then I want to be a witch. No, no, <laughs> no, you don't, DJ. You see, witches are girls. Warlocks are guys. They can do anything a witch can do. They can the turn same people as a witch? Frogs. They make thunder and lightning. They can grant wishes. That's a fairy godmother. <laughs> this is a touchy episode. You're not helping. Okay, look. Uh... Oh, hey, look. <gasps> it's a magic wand. Beep. You take this and tell people you're a wizard. I don't want it. I want anything. All right, let's go. Way to go, Dad. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Oh my. Come on, Roseanne, it's freezing outside. No, I'm not going oh. in there dressed like this. What's you happening? ridiculous. Well, you took off your nose and ears. Well, you take off your costume. No, I'll never get it back on. Just get in Why here. Why are they You're going in there? Adorable. You really think so? Get in here. Uh -huh. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm having one of them dreams where you go to school and you're only wearing your underwear. <laughs> Deal. Cause I'm the only person in here in a costume. Oh, they've already left. Hello? Oh. Who is this, Eddie? Oh, Arnie. <laughs> Listen, is Dan around? Well, could you go find him and tell him that the car broke down and me and Jackie are stuck here at the Lobo? He has to come and pick us up. And tell him to hurry it up. Trick or treat to you too, Arnie. <laughs> this is gonna be a while. We should wait in the car. No, it's freezing outside. Come on, I'll buy, I'll buy you a drink. There you go, girl. We'll help. Girl, what can I get for you, sweet? Wine. Hey, what about you, fella? Uh oh. Well, I'm busy here. What are you drinking? Uh, give me a beer. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Roseanne, don't do this. You're just gonna embarrass both. Tell me, Bob. <laughs> White wine for the lady. And a beer for you, pal. <laughs> so, uh, how's the action in here? <laughs> Whoa. Action. Chicks. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Tuesday night, ladies' bowling league comes in at 10. He don't look half bad, or she don't look half bad as a dude. 10 o'clock, huh? Good thing I brought my little squeeze box with such a big. <laughs> yeah, but that's why you like me, right? <laughs> right, honey bud? That'll be four bucks. Uh, pay the man, doll. You don't have your purse. Well, why should I pay? You're the man. You pay. Oh, all right. I'll pay <laughs> you again. I don't know why I always 
Georgia attract these losers. Four dollars for a glass of wine and a bottle of beer? Not these days. I'm gonna go call Dan again. Hi. I'm in a mango. No, don't, don't. You're not serious. Well, so me and the guys, we're gonna hang out. You got a problem mm -hmm. with that, babe? Oh, excuse me. Um, you know, you could do much uh -oh. better. <laughs> I don't see you here with anybody. You kidding me? Honest. <laughs> Thank you. God, this broad was so hot, I thought she was going to uh -oh. kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so then, she brings out this suitcase full of sex toys, and I'm thinking, this broad is freaky. Oh, yeah. As long as you're getting your battery charged, that's uh -oh. damn different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, while you're getting your car washed, you might as well get the hot wax, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know is what does she want with you when she's got a suit? Oh, a truth, truth, truth. That's supposed to be a joke. Uh oh, she's gonna get her butt whipped. Okay. Oh. Well, anyway. Oh no. We were going pretty good, and I was catching my groove, uh, doing what makes me me. And then her roommate walks in and says, "Can I join you?" <laughs> wow, we are, we are fibbing. I mean, way to go. <laughs> the little roommate takes off all her clothes, and I got both of them to deal with. Hey, hold on now. Hold on now. Let me ask uh -oh. you a question. All right? Yeah, what? Are you making this stuff what? up as you go along? <laughs> you calling me a liar? No. <laughs> Bada boom, bada bing. You chalked. It don't matter what ball you hit. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Well, then just uh, keep an eye out for him, okay? All right. All right. Bye. What? Oh, what man. Oh, man. It was awesome. Hey, it reminds me of that movie where that lady hung out with the gorillas, but they accept her as one of their own. Oh, oh no. Well, okay. The head gorilla. Okay. He's like standing around telling these sex stories, and the less dominant gorillas are just standing around believing it. So, what's so new about that? Well, I, mean, <laughs> I finally figured out why they do it. Oh, do tell. Well, it's like if one of them actually has sex, then it seems like maybe the rest of them have a chance to. Ah! Oh, I got it. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it gives them a feeling of. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Why, where are you going? No! No, 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 don't do it. No, come on, come on. I'm just going to go up. Oh, my God, no. God, it stinks in here. This is even lamer than last year. Yeah, but you see that Freddy Krueger guy checking me out? Beckhead. There were 19 Freddy Kruegers. <laughs> Which one are you referring to? The cute one. <laughs> this is just great. <laughs> Yo, Dan, hey. Yeah. Rosie called, her car broke down. She jacked, you're stuck at the Lobo and they need you to pick him up. What is that? I... Who are you supposed to be? <laughs> I'm Elvis's ghost, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> Listen, um... Let's go pick up your mom. Where's DJ? Last time I saw me was... Yeah, whining about that stupid... Silly. Mom. Oh, jeez. You guys wait here, okay? DJ? Hey, <laughs> Timmy, you seen DJ? I didn't even see him. DJ? 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 DJ's mad at you. Hey. <laughs> see my boy's Take it a nap. Give it up, Dad. The kid's a witch. Andy, Andy. You got three boys. This is just a phase, right? Oh, yeah. Kid is a certain age. He does some weird stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think DJ's hiding from me. I probably traumatized him. Poor kid. All he wanted was a broom so he could pretend <laughs> to fly. That probably means he wants to be a pilot, right? Andy, Andy, Andy. You can't go turning everything the kid does into a career. All right? Believe me, it means more to you than it does to him. Yeah, but if he keeps us up, some kid's gonna come along and deck. Mom, we were kids. We survived, right? Look at us now. <laughs> Dressed up like silly, silly geeses. DJ, where you been, boy? Yeah, people. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah? Well, you scared the heck out of me. I didn't know where you were. Are you mad at me? Nah. You mad at me? Nah. All right. Let's go get your broom. Every time my old lady starts giving me that crap about men and women being equal, see, I just tell you, you're so equal. Well, let's see, you pee out of campfire. Hey, uh, Bob, looks like your old lady just found a new fireman. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we got an open relationship, see. That because you can't keep her in line? Well, it's hard uh -oh. to control a woman who ain't inflatable. Uh-oh. Yo, Uh-oh. You are making me look bad in front of the other guy. Any ring on this <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. There's our other friend. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Crystal. What are you doing here? I'm here to drown my sorrows. Willie, get oh, me a no. big screw and keep them coming. I just had a terrible hurt. date and it's all my fault. I could have ordered the chicken, which was reasonably priced, but no, I had to have the serpent, which clearly signaled I owed him something. And then when I was not accommodating, he dumped me. Oh. Will you stop blaming yourself for everything? You've got a right to eat without letting some guy put on you on the menu. You're better than that, Crystal. Really? Yes, really. You are a quality woman, and you got to keep telling yourself that. Stop judging yourself does according she, to what does men he, think. Does she realize? Uh-uh, no. Don't you recognize me? Well, refresh my memory. Roseanne? <laughs> Trick or treat. Well, what? well, of course, I knew it was you. No, you did not. I was playing along. No, you did no, not. You were ready to No, Lord. Me. Well, I was going to make you buy me dinner first. <laughs> Hello, girls. <And> Bob. <laughs> hey, of course, you ladies recognize Warren Beatty. Want to dance? I'm talking with my friends. Maybe some other time. What, you'd rather sit here with <laughs> Burl Ives and dance with me? Come on, let's dance. Oh, thank you. Uh -uh. Well, I'm not going to bite you unless you want me to. Oh, bro. She said no. Hello. No. Come on, let's dance. No, leave her alone. No. Uh, it's all right. I'll dance with you. You will not. Just sit down. You know, I'm sick of you. You've been in my face all night. Why don't you just take a hike? Yeah, who's going to make me? Oh, yeah, that's real grown up. Fight about it. Fine with me. No! Oh, my gosh. She's starving at. Okay, okay, I have to tell you something. I'm a woman. Yeah, you're going to be when I get done. No! Leave him alone. Uh-oh. What's it to you? He's my husband. Uh <laughs> Anybody that messes with him messes with me. Uh. <laughs> Sir. Did you want to mess with me? They're <laughs> just making that dude feel bad. Oh, oh that was good, though. Oh, here's a real man for ya. Oh. <laughs> They're so good together. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't a spooky one, but it was still okay. Nope. I knew there was going to be something at the end. Hey, quit breathing on me. I ain't breathing on you. <laughs> what was that for? Quit slobbering on me, would ya? Oh, yeah. I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. All right. Oh my God. The next episode is PMS. I love you. <laughs> okay. Appropriate. Let's talk about it. Y'all, I'm Pamela Pupkin, and you're about to do Pamela Pupkin's Halloween workout. Woo! This is Alan. All right. Well, that went over some gender m misfires, I guess. I guess you would say that. You know what? Just. Be who you are. Be who you are. Love who you are. Love your children for whomever, what, whomever, whatever, whatever they want to look like, dress like, do. Just let them be them. Let them be independent souls. Yeah. Don't be lying while you're while you're playing poker and playing 
playing pool just to make you, yourself look look good. Just just a ugh. Those type of men just look me out. So, but this was a good one. It it taught us some life lessons. It wasn't truly that scary, but it was it was decent. It was a decent one. Continue to love each other. Because love is love in in my house. Love is love in my house. So uh, we we do not we don't judge. We judge nobody. All right, you guys. I love all of y'all so much. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you want to continue watching me here, please hit that like, share, subscribe button, and we will see you for tomorrow's video. Bye, guys. If I can't have you. No one.